Hey everybody, the bang is back. Let's play Castlevania Circle of the Moon Part 8. And you figure, what am I doing all the way over here when I was at the catacombs earlier? Well, I decided to do some playing off footage and realized you weren't supposed to go to the catacombs at all. And I think it was around here, I believe. That's where I picked up a health upgrade. But for the full purpose of saving time, I decided not to record myself getting it because it was nowhere where I needed to be at the time. So apparently you're supposed to be in the audience room. Now look a little to the left. The good news is you did need the tackle ability to get it. So it's not like I was wasting time getting it. Somewhere a little down here. Uh-oh. Has a little bit of lag there. I don't know what's going on, I don't have much process this morning. Watch out for those ectoplasms. Before what I noticed, they drop wristbands too, believe it or not. Everything here drops wristbands. I don't need that many wristbands. Oh, I think they drop something different. Well, oh, luck ring. You know what? Yeah. Oh wait, that's, that's a magic gauntlet. I want more luck. The greater luck I have, the greater chance I can get DSS cards and items from enemies. Maybe items that are not wristbands. Oh, damn ectoplasms. And these are not like the ones from Symphony of the Night that if you touch them they curse you. Well, let's go this way first. Oh, it's just a box. Gotta go up instead. That's okay, now that I know where I need to go, I'm okay with going a little ways. Oh, new section, the machine tower. Not necessarily a clock tower, but as soon as I see clocks, I'm gonna be pissed. Ouch! Foxes! They're dangerous with arrows. Okay, that was just massive lag there. I don't know what was happening. It lagged while I was in midair. Thanks. Way to screw me over, game. Oh no, Medusa heads! What a hard upgrade. You can easily get lost here, too. Considering there's so many platforms for you to jump on. Okay, I think I might figure this out. Might as well clear out all this room. See what I can find. Now, let's see if I took the bottom path first. Oops. How's it go down those two stairs? Oh, it's just a save point. That's good, it would be nice to get here anyway. I have to get up this. Okay, yeah, I can still get up there. Look at that archer before he becomes a dick. Oh man. So the normal Medusa heads petrify you in this. Yeah, in Symphony of the Night, only the yellow ones did. The blue ones only damaged you. Okay, I got the axe, I can leave that. Hey, it's the passage. The fire shade. More magic! Woohoo! It's nice to have. Let's see, what if I went all the way up? What should I find there? Oh, can't go through this way. I have to come out the other side. Ah, dodge the flames. I rule. 
Hey, you're not getting me, you flame shade. Or heat shade, actually. I thought exactly the matter is the exact name. It's all the same to me. Uh -oh. Shit. Oh, another level! There we go. Oh, you're not getting me. Oh, that's supposed to go this way. That way is a lie. For now. But I have a feeling we'll be coming back here sometime soon. Another save point. Does this mean I'm near a boss? Oops, so I'm ready for a good fight. Let's see, where I gotta go next? Uh, is there any secret passages here? Nope. It's just straight on forward. No! Damn it! Man, if I'm not careful, I might have to go to the save point again or use one of my potions. Hey, this, this heat shade is pissing me off. Put there in a very difficult spot. That is why you die now. Is this the right way? Ah, shit! So far this luck ring hasn't been working out for me. I haven't dropped very much items for me. Well, I like the stone armors, because they give you a lot of experience. Considering they're very tough. Tough as stones, no pun intended. All right, I fully intended that all the time. Oh, there's a tower, but I can't go up that way yet. I can't jump that high. Like who do you think I am, Kobe Bryant? I don't think so. A stylish suit. Uh, does it help me out more than the uh, bronze armor I got? Uh, it gives me more strength when my defense falls, so I'm not going to wear it. There we go. Earth armors, okay, that's what they do. They do a ground dash or attack. Uh, drop me something good. Oh, fuck you then. Maybe you will. Hopefully you drop an item rather than dropping me. Oh, you got nothing for me then, huh? Oh, another save point. What can I expect here? Oh, well, I might as well clear out the rest of this area. And probably backtrack to explore the other rooms that I missed. But I'm not doing that yet. So I have a feeling there's a boss here. Somewhere around here. Because this was a part of the game that gave me problems when I first started playing it. Like the boss here was hard as balls. I'm gonna make sure I got the right ability. I think the fire whip will do. Don't have much of a choice elsewhere. Oh wait, it wasn't this boss. It was something else. Let's see how he likes a fire whip. Um, not much different. It's only like one HP. Maybe a thorn whip. Okay, that's a little bit better. Uh oh, what's he doing? Oh, he's charging up his power. Oh man, he's healing himself! Can you believe that? 
Yeah, plus. That means all the damage that could be doing can be nullified instantly. Okay, I'm gonna get to the other side. Ooh, good thing I dodged that. Oh man, he's healing himself again. Oh, come on, you're gonna die. Just accept your defeat. Luckily, this guy is very one dimensional and simple minded. But I'm gonna stop the video right here and finish this boss in the next part, okay? See ya for now.